Uy guys, nandiyan na pala kayo. Good morning and good morning kuya. So it's Tuesday again and you know the drill, it's Fitness 101. So today nandito tayo sa Cubao, Quezon City at makakasama natin ulit no, si Coach Javi Mendoza, fitness coach and registered physical therapist. Excited na ba kayo? Let's go! Good morning ulit, Coach Javi. Good morning. morning. Coach, ano po bang uh, gagawin natin today? Um, we're just gonna progress lang yung ginawa natin squats tsaka push-up. We'll try split squats, elevated na push-up. Alright, Coach. Let's do this. Let's go. Of course, yung purpose lang ng progression is para lang mag-add ng difficulty, para lang mag-add ng challenge. That way, lalakas yun tayo sa as you go along. So yung first na exercise na gagawin natin, more on one leg variation po siya ng squat or one leg progression siya ng squat. So from here, so make sure lang na naka-align pa rin yung head to heel mo. So in one position yan. From there, using this leg, so majority ng weight nasa harap ng uh, nasa front leg. Siguro mga 10 to 20% nasa back leg. One fluid motion lang yung pagbaba and one fluid motion lang din yung pag-angat. Lalo na pag first time mong gawin, you can do it until your um, until yung range na wala kayong knee pain. So next one, push up position. We're gonna set up here muna sa floor. Put one leg at a time sa elevated surface. You can always start at the lower position. Yung width ng hands, similar din sa normal mong push up. From there, just keep your abs tight again, back that, and then go. Perform these push ups. So another way to progress yung push-up, you can add more difficulty by biasing yung isang side. So yung pwede natin gawin, tawag dito offset or deficit push-up. Offset meaning yung isang part ng katawan mas lamang sa isa. Okay, so mas iba-bias natin yung isang side. So for this demonstration, um, it doesn't have to be a kettlebell. Again, it could be anything na mas ma-elevate yung, yung isang side. So one hand, nakapatong sa taas ng surface, yung other hand nandito. So, this way, you're gonna go in a normal position, tapos perform the push-up the same way, para mas mahirapan ka lang kayo kasi mas malalim rin yung isang side. Okay? You can start with around 5 to 8 reps. Five so, to eight reps. much lower. If it gets too easy, you can add tempo or the yung parang mabagal na pababa mabagal yung pababa uh, or mas controlled na pababa para lang mas makaka-accumulate ng tension throughout the the arm so that's going to make it um about a lot more difficult you're always going to have to build up based on the weaker side same thing goes with the split squat kung isang side let's say mas mahina or then balance it out muna with the other side yan start tayo Santol, line yung head sa, sa heel, one step back, majority na ang weight, nasa front leg, one fluid motion going down, tapos come up, pain free. Go. Good, nice. Let's go down, push up position. Sige, start kasi na baba muna. Tapos, elevate na yung feet. Elevate na yung feet, good. Both feet, abs tight, back flat, and then start in push up, go, up, nice. Good. That's one, that's one. Okay, good job.
Coach, before we let you go, no, I have one question lang. How important it is to do the proper form when you exercise? The main point on is to avoid injury. It's always good to follow proper form because it makes it easier for you to progress. Eh. So, siyempre, um, pag hindi mo nagagawa ng tama yung isang exercise, mas mahirapan ka talaga maglumakas. Alright, Coach. Coach, I'm sure yung mga viewers natin, gusto ko nilang kontakin. Paano po ba nila kayong mga kontak? You can contact us through our IG at Strive Fitness and Performance. You can also contact us through 0917-30-99433. Alright, thank you so much again, Coach Javi Mendoza. And there you have it, mga kasambahay. No? Next week po ulit, God willing, for another fitness tips. Dito lang sa Fitness 101. Fitness 101. Oh, shit.